So what are you doing today? Today we're going to replace the heater push button switches. Right here. These work so hard you have to pull one up in order to push one down. So we have a new switch. It is, uh, there you go. They're available on the web. Here is the beastie. This is an air conditioned car. This is an air conditioned switch. Non air conditioned switches are much harder to find and they are different. You can get your switches no matter if they're AC or non AC. Rebuilt by John Grady. So, how do you get that out? Well, we have to remove these chrome strips around the instrument panel. The panel up here has to come down. Just a matter of getting access. Do yourself a favor and mark the screws as they come out. Chrysler didn't do themselves any favors. 63, 64, because these dashboard screws are a mix match of size, length, and style. For instance, these three machine screws come out of here. Uh, this mismatch, and I think it's because somebody's been in here before, came off of here. And that match there, that assembly there, came off of this area. With the speaker removed, you have access. Now, getting the speaker out is, is a rustle because the vinyl is curled here and it, it clips onto the speaker housing and getting it out, it, it won't want to come. But, now you see we've got access here. We can get to the wires that control the fan speed. And that's why the heater ducts had not been working. A previous repair had broken the pins. So, wiring, green wire top, that's a far, big thick one on the bottom. Okay, so the green wire here, the one with the stripe here, there's nothing on that one. The, the twin, twin goes on the bottom, and the fat green bottom center. Make a note, this is the proper orientation. You can put this switch in upside down with the vacuum pins down here. That would be wrong. Another note, 
Now is the time to check for nice, easy movement. It's, I was surprised. These pins, these, these buttons, can use a little three-in-one oil on the felt. I did that and the pins, the buttons work much easier. And now the problem is getting the pins out of here. I'm going to try drilling them out. I tried grabbing a hold of them and they're so brittle they're just snapping and turning into little pieces. 30 seconds and 760 force. We're getting there and still not there yet. One eighth inch, and then I went in with a uh, an awl, and that managed to get a, the flakes out. We'll vacuum and see what we got. One eighth inch seems to be the one to use, then get a bright light, shine it in there so you can look down, make sure you got the debris out, vacuum it out. The pins measure 0 0.130 inch diameter which is pretty much eighth inch, 125. So, wouldn't want to go any bigger. That's got them good and cleaned up. Assembly time. After quite a bit of research, we've determined that the twin wire, which had been here, needed to be switched over to Terminal 3 in order to get all of the fan speeds in all of the positions. See? And now that works just fine. Checking the system. That is on full heat. When you push off, that should retract up. Oh, it does. So this is the switch that I removed from the K and this is a duplicate of the switch that I installed. When I went to test the switch, the fan worked in the second button, which is max air, the third button, which is regular air, air conditioning. But the next button, which is defroster, I got no fan speed. The next button, which is heater, I got no fan speed. So I'm scratching my head figuring out what could be wrong. Well, if you'll notice, there's a difference in the back of the switches here.
these are twinned whereas here they you have three separates so I got out my ohm meter and I got took this switch and each time I pushed a button I recorded what connected to what of course the top button that's just off nothing connects the next button which is max these two connect well it turns out these are the air conditioner clutch connections these turn out to be the fan connections so let's just call this one one let's call this one two let's call that one three because they're twinned two and three are the same in max see my summary here one talks to two in the air conditioned which is the next button down one talks to two which talks to three in the defrost one talks to two talks to three and then the heat one talks to two talks to three so I should get fan operation in any one of those four buttons well, I did the same uh, thing with the voltmeter on the replacement switch in uh, on max air you got the air conditioner uh, connections talking to each other and connection one talks to two and three so there's a connection inside the switch here one two three they all talk they're connected next button down is the air conditioned button you have the same thing as before the clutches talk and the fan all three are talking to each other the next one is the defroster and you can see the only connection is two talking to three and in heat two talks to three but see nobody's talking to one so that turns out to be the key difference between this switch and this switch when we disassembled this switch that uh, blue feed wire was connected here for the new switch you you connect nothing to number one but you connect the blue feed well I should say the source wire in this case it's black with a white stripe put that to number three and now I have fan working in all positions and yeah that took about three hours to figure out if you were to go to the wiring diagram you would find the wiring diagram for the heater vacuum switch but that is for non-air conditioned cars and that's not gonna help you you've got to go back in the book to the air conditioned section Here we go. This is page 24.4. Now you get the air conditioned wiring diagram. And there you can see, like, uh, was that wire C2? 
is the air conditioner clutch feed. And opposite to that, you've got uh, C2A, which is the air conditioning clutch. And there you can see these three connections which end up making your fan speed. So I got it to work.